Hopefully that didn't freak everything out. We're gonna take a look here. We're gonna knock everything over. Uh, nope, looks like the mic is still good. I'm gonna pop one of my volumes on. Here, hold up. Just let me check. Okay, cool. It does not seem like it went too far out of range there. I might drop that range down just a little now that we're back here. There we go. Hey, everybody, it's the zombie. Uh, we're going to... Hold on, I'm going to pull this here. Now let's see how, what happens. Boom! Okay, cool. It's a lot bigger than I want it to be. Sorry, trying to get the... I bet you there's a transform. I can't find it. I know. Oh, there it is right there. Oh! Uh, fit screen. The reason I try to do this is because with the Elgato, we don't have to have this uh, screen thing anymore. I don't know why it's so small. I'm probably plugging something up really bad here in the background. That's why you should lock all your things when you do this. Uh, Alright, cool. That, we'll just have to do that. Alright, I don't know why it's being silly like that, but okay. <coughs> so we're starting a little early. The uh, And the whole reason I'm doing it this way is because with the Elgato, it just runs straight from the Xbox to this. But I wanted to be able to pull up this for when they go live with their presentation and i also want it to be cool and throw up bam oh my god excuse me the qc creature shop over at etsy right up there etsy.com bam this is run by uh, our good buddy izzy uh y'all might remember him from uh that movie that's right there look it's right there right there bam sping fever told you guys all about it last year it's really good Anyways, he makes these really cool things. Uh, some are magnets, some are wall plaques. Uh, totally say, you know, check them out. Order from him. Tell him the zombie sent you, because that'd be really, really cool of you. Uh, so, just trying to... These headphones must kind of suck, or that thing kind of sucks. Cause, I don't know. Or is it this thing? It might be that thing. Let's see if that's better. I could have also probably turned the mic on accident when we hit everything. So let's see here. I think that's better now. Because now it's facing me. Sorry for if this is really loud for other headphone users. So yeah, I have the white headphones on because I'm listening to the audio right now. Uh, because when this goes live... We're going to want to listen to what they say, too. So, as you all know, this is the last Dying to Know. Um, and if you go to Techland's webpage here, you can watch all of them. Uh, they, for some reason, it's out of order. I don't know. That pisses me off. Uh, but while you're there, you can also swing by YouTube. Eggs, hook up with the zombies channel. Go ahead, hit the like, subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notifications. And you can check out all of my old streams. And soon you're going to be able to check out Dying Light Lore. That's right, folks. I am going to be making Dying Light Lore videos soon. And as an added bonus to that, it just won't be like lore from the games and the book. I'm actually in communication with a person at Techland now. I've, I've reached out to them. They spoke back to me. Uh, and 
they are a little behind right now due to, you know, the game about to release in like two weeks. So, uh, but they're more than willing to answer me questions, uh, make sure that my lore is accurate. Okay, so I'm going to keep with that because, you know, hey, this is me and I love Dying Light. I love Techland. I can't wait for Dying Light 2. Uh, I mean, as everyone knows, this has kind of been my my game of choice. And uh, can't, I can't say enough good things about it. All right. So, but like I said, we are about four minutes away. So let's swing back over here to the QC Creature Shop over on Etsy. Again, this is where you want to swing by. That's Izzy right there. Good guy. Went to school with him. I mean, Zavi went to school with a lot of people, but Izzy was actually one of the cool people back in the day of school. All right. But seriously, when you order something, I want you to drop a message and say Zombie sent you, okay? I told him I was going to do this. I told him it might take a couple days for me to do it, but I had some time today, so I got to do it. I mean, this is some really good stuff. I mean, look at that. Really good craftsman. You know, the zombie very, very much approves. Especially, I mean, that's that's a Dragon Priest mask. And Groot. I don't know. There you go. Evil Dead. And these are some good shit. Good shit all around, Izzy. I love your work. Keep up the hard work, my friend. And I hope a lot of people who really want some interesting, cool horror stuff, or even, you know, Baby Yoda, swing by here, okay? It's Etsy, so, you know, real easy. Go to Etsy. Type in QC Creature Shop and bring the nightmares to life. And tell them the fucking zombie sent you. All right. So while we're waiting, another thing we need to do, as you see, I got Izzy popped up right there, actually, on my Facebook. But I'm not going to open Facebook because it scares me. All right. So today, after the broadcast, why do these all say hit? They're updating the quest, guys. Ooh, okay, so we might... We might have to, uh... Alright, we're gonna try... Okay, cool, that doesn't look anything horrible. Uh... There we go. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Groups, groups. I got post this to the Dying Light group. This is a great group if you're a fan of Dying Light. Really nice people. I swear I can spell. I mean, I went to schools in Iowa. Let's see. Tech line needs to be kind of raw. Boing. Yeah, I always mess that one. That's Fat Finger. I and O are too close together. Bam, post it. Okay, so. No, 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 no. Cancel. Stay on that. Okay, there we go. Make sure it went. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Bam. All right. All right, so we're about... Oh, it's supposed to be going on right now. It says 2 o'clock. I want to hit refresh to see. Um... to watch it through best gamer maybe come join us on the last episode of dying to know there's going to be plenty of interesting information about dying light to stay human and if you want to learn how to stay human you can't miss this see the body has anything on it drinking water before bed burns 46 pounds in two weeks 
If you are struggling to lose weight and you're over 25, then you need to hear this. Wait, you guys know the drill, right? Hell yeah. Stay human. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Monster with us. Nice. Beginning of the sh show. Uh -huh. This Stay with will us. be the last episode of Dying to Know. And the first episode where we get to show you the co-op in Dying Light 2 Stay Human. You can't miss it. So, you have an army here? Oh, the peacekeepers. Seriously riling up the bazaar folks. I'll proceed with caution. Are we okay, going? so this is still just you showing us the... show me something? Sure. Follow me. You won't get far without a biomarker. Without it, you don't know when you turn. I swear I checked the times on this. Biomarkers are at the GRE hospital. I'm waiting by the lobby. This is gonna be hilarious. For that, I'm gonna host this program with Leia. Costume. <laughs> Looks like the real Aiden Caldwell was just standing in front of me. Right, and speaking of costumes, you remember our UGC contest, right? Now, the deadline for that was January 10th, so you won't really be able to submit anything now. This is Soon, it right now. You'll be I don't able know to see the finalists for each category, including fan art, cosplay, and story. Those finalists will be available next week, and you can check them out on our contest website or on Techland GG's I hub. I saw some of our participants, Findings. and I have to say that some of these works are really amazing. Okay, there we go. Very Wait, oh, this is muted. So, somebody asked me the other day okay. if you can play Dying I did enter that to just so you stay know. human co-op, and guess what I said? I'm guessing you said yes. Absolutely, because not only can you play Dying Light 2 Stay Human in co-op, you can also finish the game in co-op, which oh, is impressive. Really? Yeah, huh. absolutely. And, That's uh, fantastic news. Exactly, and not only that, but, I mean, if I'm the host and my friends come in as guests to yep. my session, they get to keep their items and their player progression <sighs> wow. and all of that, um, but they're just kind of in my narrative story, right? right? right, right. So I'm hosting the story for them. Um, but guess what? What? There's also the element of choice and consequence well, because... Big. Right, yeah. what would Dying Light 2 be without choice and consequence, right? Um, so, you know, if we come to a narrative fork in the road yeah. and there's a choice to be made that's going to change the outcome of the story, to talk over everyone them. gets to vote on it. Everybody oh, in the game. Oh, that's neat. Right, and the host gets the final say in where you end up. Huh. So, so everyone gets democracy has come to the city. Absolutely, it has. I, I, it sounds amazing. I can't wait to, like... Jump in with my friends yeah. and watch them do some sick parkour yeah. and, and then they murder some monsters with baseball bats yeah. and decide the fate of Aiden Caldwell Solitary, single handedly. February 4th. <laughs> Leah, all that's going to happen on February 4th, yeah. I promise. February 4th. <laughs> so we're going to be able to go co op from day one. It looks like four player co op. That looked almost Assassin's Creed Unity. What would be cool is, you know, uh, they announced how much different armor and stuff is. We could all look completely different. We'd once again like to thank you all for your overwhelmingly positive response to Techland GG. That's right, we have been delighted with the response to the quest we've added to Techland GG. So much so that we are still adding more, and there are now over 50, 50 quests for you to check out. So, go find them all. And, uh... What else is new? Well, we've completely That's right, they the just dropped profile. them, guys. We've added a few new awards, and we've brought something very special back. The I Am The Cure Banshee comic is now available, once again, for everyone. Yes! <laughs> if you haven't downloaded this comic, you need to. It is amazing so guys, so little Tech comic book, and it's going to tell you all of the Dying stuff. Light 2 prizes to give yourself a head start before the launch. Good luck.
February 4th is coming soon, and the game is ready to be released February on 4th. all platforms. How can we it's be like so fucking sure? Valentine's well, Day for the zombie. Thanks for the confidence that you have given us, all of you currently watching and those who attended the preview events. See for yourself. I don't want to I'm going to go to one of these preview events one of these days, I swear to God. You guys will see my thing. five episodes we've been showing you what the game looks like and i think we can agree it looks incredible but their audio is real off. question is how's the game gonna look on your screen in your home watching it through let's a take a quick look thing. at a platform comparison video put together by a few of the devs <laughs> not bad It looks beautiful. I can't wait. I wonder how it feels. You know, you worked on a big, complex game for years, and then suddenly one day, bam, it's done. What do you think? How do you think the devs feel? Joy, because it's finally finished? Or sadness, because it's finally finished? Good question. We spoke to a few of them to find out. Watch this emotional video full of passion, sacrifice, and longing. Because even though Techland have promised that Dying Light 2 Stay Human will be supported just as strongly as the first, for these devs, it's still the end of an era. And we are here in the Frank's Canteen. It's a place from our game, but from the real life in our company. Super cool. But jump to beginning. We want like to create a game when you decide something and you change the world, change environment, change level design, because we are level designers and that was our point. It was something that we did a lot of times when we need to figure out something, it's good to create the prototype. So we did one, but this time it was a micro version of our whole game world, and I placed it way up into the sky. Yeah, but it's no longer there. Peter deleted and you can find it, but you can find a lot of super cool stuff that we hide in the you know places everywhere on the huge map <laughs> i believe so it's gonna be like a lot of are gonna be it. back guys my name is simon and i am one of the senior producers working on dying light 2 stay human today we are at the mock-up room when we are capturing movement of our characters speaking of which i remember the times when i read the script for the first time and it came to me how big of a story it is i've been counting characters that we need to produce and it came to conclusion that we've got over 600 of them which are actually speaking in game and if you will add the ones which are not speaking we ended up with 1300 so this is like really like amazing big story that we've got and prepared for you so hopefully you will enjoy it working on such a big and complex project uh, is all about the people uh, together with gameplay team uh, with animators, gameplay programmers, and QA. Uh, we are working on delivering the best experience in parkour, combat, uh, and all the open world mechanics you will discover soon in the game. Something that people loved about Dying Light 1 was uh, parkour, uh, and that was uh, fighting with zombies. In Dying Light yeah, 2, we've uh, managed to combine parkour and combat into one thing. Uh, and I think you guys are gonna love it. Uh, we've been playing for some time and uh, we really enjoy it, uh, but I really envy you that you're gonna experience it for the first time with your fresh eyes. But Dying Light 2 is not only about graphics. We also wanted to secure very strongly audio side. We've been planning to do full orchestra to record our soundtrack. And we wanted to have all the sections, you know, we wanted to do it in Abbey Road when the Beatles like been recording their albums. But then pandemic kicked in and we needed to do it online and revive our plans. So we got this high end tech with zero lag just to be able to stream the whole thing for the whole company. 
and it was super exciting. It boosts morale of everybody, and we've been watching it in the evening, seeing how it's game being made. born. Uh, we hope Garibu and we know like. that you will find a lot of uh, emotions inside. You're going to find them all. Uh, you're going to laugh. You're going to uh, uh, be scared. Uh, and I'm sure as well that you're going to spend long hours playing the game when it's out on February 4th. And we are here after all of that six years, over six years. Yeah, six years of hard work, a lot of experiments. We we did, a, we learned a lot. Yeah, pain, those fun, years. fun, pain. Yeah. There's a lot of emotions, but at the end, I think we're really, really proud of yeah. wh what we achieved. And uh, we hope you will have fun playing Dying Light, I'm stay human. Sure. Yeah, uh, so. Bye guys and stay, stay human. human. Wow. Yeah. What a great team. Yeah, right? I was so emotional Sweet. watching that. You're going to be okay? <laughs> almost. Be right? I said almost. <laughs> okay. You know, Leah, before I got asked to host Dying to Know, <laughs> uh, before I was even cast as Aiden, I was a huge fan of Dying Light. Still am. I have over a thousand hours in the game. And you want to know what my favorite part of Dying Light is? Okay. All right. Let me guess. Okay. The open world. No. Okay. The parkour. It's very good, but no. Okay. Mm, the combat. Uh, no. <laughs> the monsters. No, okay, yes, he's gonna say to all of that. <laughs> but my absolute no. favorite part of Dying Light is the community. And I'm not just talking about the 100,000, hundreds of thousands of people who play Dying Light I will say to this, this day one of the daily. Least I'm talking about the community on Twitter. I'm talking about the community on Twitch, on Discord. You know who you are. You guys have supported Techland in an over six plus year development. And for that, we can't thank y'all enough. So right here, this, what we're doing right now, is for you. Thank you so much. See that again? You see that? It's beautiful. Oh, I can't believe it. No, I just can't believe it. In every episode of Dying to Know, we've shown you some exclusive gameplay. And this episode will be no different. But before we get into the city, I'd like oh, to remind yeah. you of somebody who's already there waiting for you. Moan, played by Rosario Dawson. If you'd like to see Rosario talking about her role in Dying Light 2 Stay Human, then check out our YouTube channel, where she talks about her role as Moan. Hi, I'm Rosario Dawson. You will know me as Lala, who is fighting her past and looking to seek revenge on the people who wronged her. Before you watch the YouTube, uh, make sure to stay here and too. check out what Luan has put together for us. It's new exclusive content for all those who've pre-ordered the game as well. The Reach Crossbow. for the Sky exclusive digital content pack is created in collaboration with Rosario Dawson and includes a unique outfit, a paraglider skin, weapon skin, and backpack. Yeah, that's right. It includes a crossbow skin for Luan, a paraglider and backpack skin for Luan and Aiden, and a full new outfit for Luan. So remember to pre-order the game, and as the name suggests, reach for the sky. It's become tradition by now that every episode of Dying to Know comes with its own gameplay video. And today will be no different. Right, You'll get your go. gameplay so trailer, but on today's it. gameplay trailer, it's going to be a little bit something uh, special. We're going to be recapping all of the distinctive elements in Dying Light 2, Stay Human. So let's explore the vast open world, let's go and meet the monsters oh. roaming in the city streets below, and see how everyone's surviving up on the rooftops. Yeah, for the last time before the Tell game premiere, we're going to give you a close look at guys. Dying Light 2 Don't do us like that. so that on February 4th, 2022, you can get in the city and, uh... And fight to survive in this post-apocalyptic horror game. Listen, Steve, don't try to warn anyone I'm here. Rainer said you were a pilgrim. None of your business. You think your barking will make an impression on me? Did you know a girl named Mia? Mia? No. Who's Mia? She's my sister. Promise you'll never leave me alone, Rainer. Never. I won't leave you. I swear, I don't have to. Not him, no! A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. That kind of information is expensive. Well, maybe I can help you. Welcome to paradise. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. Who would have thought the end of the world would be so peaceful? 
I wish Crane could have seen this. Juan, it's not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Ader. I don't work for Ader. I work for myself. Here yeah, we're all infected. Are you scared of them? Most people are. Those who are weak just give up. Keep them busy. They stop caring about anything. Give up on life, but you. Still care. Drop him. One move and he dies. Drop him. You're no leader, Kong. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots, I christen you a citizen of Villador. And in the name of law, you're sentenced to death for treason. I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? She trusted you, and you failed her. I'll be okay. You will pay for that. Three against one? I like those odds. Count again. Sometimes, you have to become a monster to stay human. Nothing could ever tear us apart anyway. Fuck the plan. We don't know what's up there. to pretend he's a grown-up, a precious little boy. Well, that was intense. Yep. Did you guys Can't all mention to play this catch the again. mention of Crane? <laughs> this is the end of our show, but we still have one more thing. Yeah, our special guest. Mm -hmm. Without whom, we wouldn't be here today. Without whom, there would be no Aiden Caldwell. There'd be no vast open city to explore. Or cool parkour tricks to pull off. Or creative and brutal combat. Yeah, the combat. Or there would be no monsters roaming the city at night to terrorize us. Or humans who are just as dangerous during the day. The characters, the dialogue, the story. Ladies and gentlemen, our final special guests are all the people who worked on Dying Light 2 Stay Human. And we asked them all one simple question. What are you most proud of working on Dying Light 2? Hi, we're the CQA team and we're most proud of reaching the gold status with Dying Light 2 Stay Human. I'm proud of all the gameplays and trailers I've made for Dying Light 2. The English translation of the dialogue. Iconography that has been created for user interface. Being the host of Dying to No More series. How good level design we achieve. Mode of cocktails and other explosives. Because who doesn't like to blow things up? I'm most proud of the videos that we are making the whole team for you guys. I'm proud that I got to lend my voice to Aiden Caldwell in Dying Light 2, Stay Human. Dream come true, thank you. And I'm proud that I got to co-host Dying to Know alongside Jonah and get to know all of you and the dev team. It's been amazing, so thank you. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. That was it. Yeah, that that was it. Wow.
gonna pop back into the group real quick. Twitch stream is paradise. No, we want dynamite. We had a huge debate about that the other day. <clears throat> a lot of people were really thinking that uh, he might come back. Uh, he's not going to come back. They said that there should be, there's no one from Dying Light coming to Dying Light 2. But that character said, I wish Crane could have seen this. Which means that they knew Crane. Oh, February 4th can't get here soon enough. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we will take a quick break, and then we are going to jump right into Dying Light. All right, so we'll be back in a few minutes.
business. You think your barking will make an impression on me? Did you know a girl named Mia? Mia? No. Who's Mia? She's my sister. Mommy shall never leave me alone here. Never. I won't leave you. I swear. I don't have to. Not him, no! A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. Well, that kind of information is expensive. Maybe I can help you. Welcome to paradise. Look around. Hey, so I've been talking for a long time now. <laughs> hey, Austin, how's it going? Wow. Uh, yeah, so I've been talking for a while there. Uh, let me uh, go back in and pull this back up. So what I did was during the break there, I uh, loaded up the uh, Techland page to see if they had updated and unlocked the new quests. What they have done is you have the quest we've already done, like hit the road. But it was only worth 400 experience. That it was considered an easy. Now they have what's normal and hard mode for quest. So, example, duty bound. Originally, what you had to do was kill a thousand biters. For the hard version, you had to kill four thousand biters. That does include the lullaby, though. You got to kill 200 screamers. All right. So, okay, so. Now that, you know, I've caught you guys up, because, yeah, like I said, I forgot to hit the mute button on my mic there and forgot to hit the switch over. I'm going to turn that off, and we're going to jump right back into Dying Light. I do have the trailer queued up for at the end. We're going to play that trailer again, because that trailer was amazing. Uh, part of me wants to play it again now, but I'm going to wait until we're done. So, slap on the, the magic headphones, we'll hit the button, and we should be jump right in. As you see, I already got Dying Light queued up, so... And we're going to be working on trying to finish up the gas bag quest, which, hold on, I'm going to pull that back up because I didn't see that quest. So let's, if they got rid of that quest, I'm going to be mad. Because I was like 10 away from it. Uh, hide and seek, I'm still, oh, okay, good, it's a gas, it's right there. Oh, okay, I guess I'm uh, 31 away from it, I thought I was closer. But I've almost got hide and seek done. So once hide and seek's done, we're gonna go activate that kill the biters quest. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, turn this back off. Bam. There we 
go. Everyone should be here in the crew room. I add you over. Cool, awesome, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I'm not doing any uh, online right now, uh, but I do want to do next week. I probably will do another. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, I will check that. Actually, we can check that real quick. Uh, still trying to get used to the Xbox. I will do it later, sorry. But yeah, next week I'm planning on doing another uh, stream where we open up to online so we can try it. People can get the uh, achievements, which where are the achievements at nowadays? Oh, there they were. Right there. Because uh, there's the Polymori uh, and let's see, there's a couple other ones that I've already done, but we could do with other people who don't have them. Uh, so I will be doing those next week. All right, continue. Uh, hopefully I am in Old Town. Whew. It has been trying to really push me to finish up the uh, uh, Wow. I forget the name of it. It's the the RPG video game inside of it. Anyways, we should, if I remember right, I had just finished a night. Oh! Wow, way to start me right out getting killed. Hi, how's it going? Thank you. Oh, I love throwing that. This outfit and its bonus is still by far the coolest thing. Alright, so let's go over here. Still, it's like dawn. That's why it's kind of darkish under here. Oh, he walked right into it. <laughs> Dumbass. All right, so we are going to be. We're looking for bolters, which is at night. Lullaby. Uh, we're gonna be trying to working on that one because I want to get that done. That is gonna be like my Moby Dick is getting the lullaby quest done. I swear. Like I could kill four thousand zombies in a heartbeat. I mean, but. Now, someone did send me, and I'm going to, after I go over here and get this drop. Oh, shit. I got too close. Oh, well. Oh! That's right, fool. Where, where did the other one go? Oh, shit. That's a good way of killing them. Anyways, uh, they showed... I saw a video online for a good way of grinding the lullaby. Uh, which is good because it's taken forever just going through the Three Moons restaurant. I mean, I did it a whole bunch yesterday. I just kept running through it over and over and over again. Uh, and I'm willing to keep doing that. I mean, I have no problem with that. I'm not going to do that on stream, though, because it gets boring. I mean, I'll run through it one time just so everyone sees it. As always, grab our herbs. Blade is doing good. Again, sucks my webcam is blocking. I could put it in the center, but then it would be blocking that. And I could put it up there, but I like having my map. Anyways, uh, so someone suggested on YouTube that... A bunch of the screamers spawn in some of these houses over here. <laughs> Fuck you, Toad. Man, it's gonna suck. Suck getting, uh, all them toads. Alright, so anyways, we gotta listen for Crying Baby. <laughs> oh, come on. I hate when he does that. I completely biffed that one. 
There we go. Drop that fucker. Which one of you's got my reward? Well, I guess one of one of you might be dead. Do you got my reward? Okay, well, I don't really care. Everyone gets one. Uh, he was all by himself? Hey. Hey! Give me my reward. Fuck off. I'm not got time for that. Oh, shit. We'll just go over the cars. Let's see if he, uh, I said I don't have time for that, but occasionally if you leave and come back, the monster respawns. And like to see a friendly oh, there you go, see? It just took him a while to catch up. Give me that, thank you. <laughs> Alright, so, according to the video I watched, the guy was here-ish. So we're going to jump over and grab. We're just going to turn around and go straight up and over. Because those, I know that area there. I don't think there's anything there. But we're going to give it a try. I ran this yesterday and could not find a single screamer. throwing my blade like that. It's just so much fun. Okay, so again, he was right across here, which is, we've been over there. That's where we were. I tried setting up for purple flower, because there's purple flowers over here, which we need, because we're going to need more silver bullets tonight. Ooh, there's herbs. Those are always good, but I know there's purple flowers over here. Well, they're not purple flowers. They're mushrooms. Slicey, slicey for the day. Blood fountains everywhere. scorpion get over here oh that was right in his face we're gonna go ahead and camouflage real quick uh, just because i want to get that med van there and we're gonna snap her neck That's what you get. Alcohol. Always use that. Alright, so there's the one purple flower. I know there's more. There it is. This isn't as good as the sidewall area where we found like, you know, ten. But this is still a great area to just kind of pick up some uh, mushrooms. Again, you need those for the silver bullets, which I'm going to go ahead and make those now so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Blueprints. All right, so silver bullets, you need uh, one blade, one herb, one nail, and one of the fresh and shrooms. It produces five silver bullets. You can carry 20 at a time. These are used for a gun that you don't want to use any other time. It's called Dawn Light. Um, I'm going to go ahead and equip it real quick. It's a one-shot pistol. It will drop volatiles. Uh, it is an amazing gun. Came with the DLC pack that came that has my uh, the outfit that I'm wearing, the crane one that kind of looks like uh, uh, Van Helsing. 
All right, so anyways, so yeah, we were going to check these buildings. And then we're going to head back down towards that. We're listening for screamers. She's spawning in here now. Oh god, that that girl's annoying. And yes, I have airstrikes. Uh, let's see here. We're just gonna go ahead and buy our power cable there. As much as I hate buying them, I'm gonna buy the explosive arrows because uh, they might work good for the night run that we're if we get to. I don't know if we'll get to one today. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What'd I you don't want to hear her story. All right, so I don't. I don't hear any screamers here, so let's go ahead and head to the next area. We... I somehow coasted down the line there. That was crazy. Okay. As you saw, we have a shit ton of these red herbs, but... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep them. Oh, there goes both those first aid kits we just picked up. Alright, so. This is where you come out of the sewers. When you first get to Old Town. That was weird. I must have been trapped under that umbrella because I couldn't stand up. Yeah, if you get under that umbrella, it automatically crouches you. All right, so we're going to check these buildings. We're just listening for cries, and I'm also going to be doing the scan. <clears throat> so this is based off of a video on a guy on YouTube. Uh, and for all I know, maybe it did work before. Uh, let's see, DLC. Uh, yeah, I have all the DLCs. We're playing the Platinum Edition plus the DLC stuff that... Uh, you bought for here hold on oh. I can show you I can show you the name of it here uh, uh, Hell Raid was the one I was thinking of earlier that I couldn't fucking figure out but uh, the Van Crane bundle that was one of the last bundles they sold uh, for Halloween it allows you uh, an outfit that looks kind of like a Van Helsing type. You got a trifold hat. You have wooden spikes on a like bullet bandolier, but it's like wooden spikes. And it allows you, when you double click in, instead of just throwing your weapon, your weapon is now attached to your grappling hook. So that is something that I uh, very much like. Yeah, I have the following. I this is like I said the platinum edition. I've I own it on PC, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. I don't own the Van Crane bundle yet on the Nintendo Switch. I will have to buy it. So, just wait, I'm trying to see if we hear any screamers cuz I'm not hearing any. Also know a spot where a drop likes to spawn that doesn't. Oh, this one's a medium. This could be risky because we're in the uh, bazaar, and the bazaar has a lot of uh, a lot of spawn rates. Ooh. I'm running out of uh, lock picks. I'm gonna have to make some more. Fountain. 
Mountains of Bazaar. Okay, I'm not hearing. Oh, yeah, so <sighs> this one down here, that crate that's there, it doesn't show up on your screen, but it will. All right, so we're going to do something fun here. Uh, if you've seen, I had an airstrike saved up. Airstrike is a blueprint that you can get. Uh, and it'll do this. When you get a bunch of them together, you just throw this on out there. I call this the zombie space program. And a blood fountain on top of it. It's great for clearing out them pesky zombies. I mean, I could just switch to the spine gun, but... Uh, I'm really risking it here. Okay, we need, uh... We need camouflage. I want to get this chest real quick. There we go. That'll... Get everyone off our ass for a second. If we uh, pop over to do stuffed turtle, I'll show you that DLC on the title screen because there's a way of doing that. We're just running through here real quick and seeing if there is any. Uh... Oh, yeah, I gotta. There we go. Alright. I'm not, I'm not seeing any screamers at all in the bazaar, like this guy said. Maybe he had not... I don't know. <laughs> Easiest way to kill him. Alright, so... Get that, get that... All right, we're actually we're gonna go do a stuff total run here just so I can show you the DLC things. Uh, so let me grab this pack and then we'll save and uh, switch over to stuff turtle. All right. Oh, we gotta change to stuff turtle first. There we go, stuff turtle. All right. Not joking, this game loads so much faster on the Xbox One. I mean, on the Series X, sorry. Alright, so as you see, that's my outfit there. Um, let's see here. DLC packs. So, though, these are all the... See, these are the expansions. These were the actual DLC. I own all of them. But these bundles, these are things you can buy. And they're usually like $3 or something. Uh... All of them are really cool. Uh, they added some, you know, really good weapons. Uh, some of them are even free. Uh, here's the one that I'm talking about, though. The Van Crane Bundle. Uh, so that's what, the out that's what my outfit looks like. So you got a crossbow, a sword, and the gun. Excuse me. The crossbow is amazing. The gun, the little handgun, is the best thing in the world. But you also got the ability to, uh, like I said, your throwing, which is uh, boomerang, which is a skill you unlock. Your weapon's tied to your hand, so it's a hundred percent return rate. So that's that's just great. And since we're here, let's do the stuffed turtle. And I got a bunch of quests I can turn in here while we're. Uh, in this. I'm kind of bouncing quests around, so uh, I could go to Old Town and unlock a bunch of stuff. Ha this is a new game plus. Plus, actually. This is like my third run through of the game. I do know soon we are going to be doing a farewell to Haran uh, week. And I'll show you that here after we do this. <coughs> Oh great, Shit, the goddamn off. switch broke down. 
never done the stuffed turtle. There's one package, two package, three package, switch to your bow. You can pick everybody off there with a bow. Uh, do not throw explosives because dying light explosives, when they meet water, uh, blow up. So, like, if you drop a landmine right now, it'll blow up and get you before. So. But we can just... That's the guy I wanted to use that on. never done a stuff turtle run this is all it is now you do have to watch out because yeah there's a boomer right back in that back room I was distracted by that guy but yeah he's usually back here anyways your last two packages one's here and last one's here always stop this guy there you go there's the package and you're done easy 25 or 2500 points okay so now i do want to show you guys this uh so this room here full of zombies that aren't here yet there's one if you start trying to pick that lock pick that door see they just start coming out like non-stop normally i would sit there and pick up all those bags but i don't care all right, so we're going to run to the tower. And we'll drop off all of, because uh, we have a crap ton of uh, drops. So. And then we're going to. Actually, before we do that, let's go pick up. There's there's always one that respawns, like, 98% 90, of the time it's there. So you should always grab this uh, drop. Until you do uh, the quest for the batteries, and that, or not batteries, but hooks, and turn it in, there is a th or two or three that drop. Ah, shit! That spawn in that area that I was pointing at. Uh, you have to go through the roof on that one. while we're running we're also gonna we're gonna stop by and uh show some respect to george since we haven't done that in a while well at least on the stream i do it every time i go near the eye stop i mean it's it is my tradition say that new footage and stuff it looked so good like fluid movement uh it was great but yeah so this one here like i said it's like a 98 percent chance that this this crate will respawn every time you reload the area so like if you go stuff turtle then bounce over to the three moons and then back to stuff turtle uh there we go it'll respawn there and I've never had it not like cause certain ones. It's like it seems like certain things trigger it. And I have yet to have it be one that's triggered. So. Talk to this bag. Bam! We're almost to level 32. Let's see if he's got anything. Now, as you all see here, these are my dockets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20. 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 41, 50. I have 50 dockets. I'm going to be opening those soon. Uh, it's going to be, I'm not going to open all of them, but I'm going to open a good majority. It's like, especially these ones I have like 13 or 19 of. I'm going to open those on a stream here soon. Uh, it'll be close to the farewell stream. Let's see. Where do you want to go here? Yeah, of course. I want to do things to you. All right, we're going to go ahead and sell the dark machete, this bow, the chef's knight. Again, I have uh, $3,780,220 during the apocalypse. It just doesn't seem right. Sure do, Claudia. Oh, I was going to see if he had, uh, let's see here, power cable. I always buy as much supplies as I can because it's not like I'm really hurting for cash. All right, do I have any quests to turn in in this building? I don't think so. The bulletin board's saying I got something I can pick up. Let's see here. Did that one. We had multiple enemies. <laughs> we just got to do some multi kills. Okay with that. All right, we have some quests though that need to be turned in. Let's pull up the map here. Let's see here. Go to the caves at night. Okay, we need to go to that one. So it's just that way. That's on our way to George anyway, so we'll do that. Sadly, we're almost out of time for the day. Yeah, it's almost. We might go a little long today since we had the video. We'll see. We'll see. I need to get back to doing longer streams. Just haven't been doing them that way lately. Need to get multiple enemies together that's right oh well uh this spot here still the best place for coffee and all of Haran. one two three four five six seven eight i think eight's the limit now oh no no nine ten 11, 12. Okay, 12 copies. Why is that important? Uh, let's see. 12 copies with a value of $100 a piece. That's $1,200. Okay. We need to get, it, get these guys kind of grouped together. We need to chop off their heads. Come on. Come on. Come on, little zombies. Come on. Ah, get off me. Bam! We did it in one swing! <laughs> that was amazing. We did that with one swing. Alright, let's go see Jafar. Oh no, we need to go 
He, he's the guy out here. That's right. Craig, that dynamite of yours. Ba 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 ba. Anti-personnel bomb. It can mow down the infected like a harvester. I'm going to combine it with firecrackers and a load of shrapnel, but I'm missing a few things. Starting with a suitable casing. A battery from a truck would be perfect. We're gonna go visit There's Optimus Prime. The overpass. Well, it's hanging over the edge of the overpass, but. I, I skipped his dialect. We're gonna do it. I don't need to listen to it. We're going right there, but we're gonna we'll grab this battery and we're gonna stop down and uh, pay respects to George. I tried switching arrows there. I believe. Don't chase me. Now, I've been privy to diesel mechanic work in my life. Uh, not personally a diesel mechanic, but I've been around it. The batteries are not light. Uh, Crane has got to be rich to just grab one of those batteries and carry it. Alright, so we're going to come down here. Dancing blood fountain. Get away. How dare you be in this spot? Respect to George Romero. <clears throat> so, as always, let me explain the story of this mural. So, as you all know, the game came out in 2014. And they've done a series of patches and upgrades over the years. I mean, everything from, like, the crane bundle to, you know, community events where they have to add, like, the rust things and stuff. Well, in 2017, uh, George Romero, legendary director and basically the father of modern zombie films, uh... He passed away. So Techland was working on a patch at that time already, and they included in that patch this memorial to the father of the zombies, George Romero, 1940 to 2017. I always like to stop by. I wish I could light a candle here for him, pay respects, or throw a zombie head up there for him. But that's just me. Uh, I grew up watching George Romero's films. I mean, probably one of the main influences of the zombies' childhood. I got your battery, Kurt. Okay, so we so let's go ahead and finish this quest, and that'll probably be the end for the stream. From the junkyard to use for shrapnel. Ah, I've got After scrap. That, I need sugar and some cables. Try the shops or warehouses. Bring them back. And you'll get a bomb that will blast a hundred infected at once. Sold. This should take care of the sugar. Are these cables all right? Mm, they'll do. All right, we've got everything. Give me some time. I'll let you know when I'm done. I think the amount of time he needs is long enough for me to run around the building. Which means we can come over here and leave this. I just want to do this one quest before we end the stream today. Like I said, we're going to end the stream. We're going to play that trailer again. Uh, that was K. 
king in there. That is the, the awesome one. I have a shit ton of them saved up now. See, I really don't need, because I keep repairing the ruffian sword, and when it gets down to, you know, my last repair, I hunt down a blue shield and make them repair it for good. have to make some more lockpicks too. Cosmetics. So we got enough to make a shit ton more med kits, which is awesome. Alright, so let's see here. Blueprints, lockpick. I know it's down by the first aid kits. Right there. I can make 2,424 more of these, and it makes five every time, so I'll make four. Actually, I'll make five because I'm going to make it till I have 2,420. All right. Well, we're waiting on him. Let's see. Go ahead. No. No. That's over on the other side, so we're waiting on that one. We won't even make it to them before he calls us back. Hey, George. Every okay, time. See you there. But we're almost to the twins, so I'm not going to turn around. There we go. Give the twins this. Here are your batteries. We had to check them for bite marks. <laughs> well done. Ah, no problems with the counting part of the mission? How much more do you need to do on this project of Excuse yours? Me. None of your business. Goodbye. <sighs> These boys, I tell you. If I didn't know what happens to them in the following, I would probably hate them. And that, my friends, is the spine. I don't like using it because it draws every fucking thing in the world to you, but uh, it just obliterates people. All right, so we're going to run back here and get this bomb, blow up the world. And then we're going to be called Monday the night. What do you guys have against that van? Other than that asshole was in there. Bomb for me. I've got All right, let's go pull this stuff. It's up. on the table, ready to be tested. Still, you won't find a better place. Okay, I'll try this. One more thing. That's so much. Toads. Ooh, 
blood fountains everywhere. Again, I should be picking up all this shit, but uh, we're in a hurry. And I'll be grinding tonight since we got all those new quests now. So I'm not too worried about it. I am going to stop for these purple mushrooms, though. Never have enough of those. Oh, Squishy came up behind us and blew us up. What the hell? As you see, though, that is the Dawnlight gun, and that's how good it is. It just pops the volatile and just kills them. Even kills the spiny variants and all of them. You just gotta watch out for squishies. And it is a one low, like one shot, slow loading gun. Oh man, we gotta go around the other side of it. I think that's an area you can't go up. Oh, I missed him. Missed that one. Yeah, like I said, it's a one-hit kill on Baltals. Very, very useful at night. Very useful when you're, uh... Oh, shit. I forgot it does cause them to explode. It cursed? I'm here, Clay. No good, it's not working. I never remember how far back I need. Well, I need to be back further than that. Ow! <laughs> Blew up the nest and the barricade. And my life. All right, the tunnel's now passable. Hey, okay, now we got a shortcut. Plan. This is where the volatiles were hanging out. Get out of my way, pukey. All right, let's go turn. Ooh, fire. Yep, yep, yep. That's where we were standing. So we needed to at least get back to this car. Okay. You think I would know that all the times I've done this mission? But I'm kind of stupid. <laughs> Alright, let's go turn this in and we're going to call it today, folks. We'll watch that trailer again because, oh my god, it was amazing. Ah! Probably get motion sickness from watching me play sometimes. Turn this reward in. This is for you. I've also modified the case a bit. Cans instead of batteries. Smaller bang, but cans are easier to find. 
and to carry. I do love these trap That's bombs. True. I use them a lot. So, all right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and we'll just. Oh, I want to switch back to. Three moons. All right. All right. So we're gonna switch over to that video, and we're gonna call it there, folks. So, let me go ahead. Uh, let's see here. I gotta remember how to do this, so bear with me. I need to turn off that one. And then I need to turn on this one. Look at that. We're getting, we're getting somewhere. And here it is. I'm gonna turn Don't on my other screw headphones. Don't up the password again. This time, we'll blow your head off. Sweet. Love you too. You better get it right. Now listen, Steve. Don't try to warn anyone. said you were a pilgrim <laughs> your business you think your barking will make an impression on me did you know a girl named mia mia no who's mia she's my sister promise you'll never leave me alone mia never i won't leave you I swear i don't have to not him no a long time ago waltz heard her he took her from me and i want him to tell me where she is well that kind of information is expensive Maybe I can help you. Welcome to paradise. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. Who would have thought the end of the world would be so peaceful? I wish Crane could have seen this. Juan, it's not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> Death is how we thank traitors. Spike. Did you say you were working for Aider? I don't work for Aider. I work for myself. Here, we're all infected. Are you scared of him? Most people are. Who are weak? Just give up. Keep them busy. They stop caring about anything. Give up on life, but you. You still care. Drop him. One move and he dies. Drop him. You're no leader, Kong. On behalf of all its whores, bandits, and idiots. I christen you a citizen of Vinador. And in the name of law, you're sentenced to death for treason. I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? She trusted you, and you failed her. I'll be okay. You will pay for that. Three against one? I like those odds. Count again. Sometimes, you have to become a monster to stay human. <laughs> Nothing could ever tear us apart anyway. Fuck the plan. We don't know what's up there. You understand nothing. A little boy wants to pretend he's a grown-up. A precious little boy. everybody wow again that trailer looks so great february 4th can't get here enough all right so we're going into the weekend ladies and gentlemen as you know i do not stream fridays unless it's a rare exception so i will not be back until monday uh what's going on here something's messing up there anyways so uh if you're in the midwest area we are about to get hit by snow ladies and gentlemen so please be safe drive safe if you can't stay inside don't go outside okay if you're a lucky person and not in a snowy area you know check in on us uh it is not a good time of year for people in the midwest winter is coming winter is here all right so i'll see you all monday uh you're gonna see a lot of more of these quests are gonna be done knocked off hopefully i'm actually talking yeah okay cool 
So you're going to see a much more of those quests knocked off, taken care of, and life will be back to what it should be. We're going to be back Monday. Pretty sure, yeah, Monday we should be back. All right. So in the meantime, everyone, be safe out there. The world's a crazy place, and there's only one thing you need to do, and that's wash your hands, wash your face, and wash your butts. Much love from the weekend, or much love from the zombie. Have a good weekend. <laughs> See y'all later. I love you.